It's because the mainstream already have a game plan. They've been having it before our forefathers was even here. So that's right. They already know what they want, and if you're not going to contribute to that, it's off with your head. And if if you contribute to that once upon a time and have a change of heart, it's still off with your head because you, in a sense, you use them how they might look at it, but at first you probably thought it was something good and then you had seen a light and now you understand it was bad for everything that you ever contribute to and now you want to depart from it. But the industry wants something totally different from what you think that you're going to give to the music world. It's like being a police officer. Don't get me wrong. There's, there's some good guys that's in the industry. Don't get me wrong. And just like a police officer, there's some good police officers and there's some bad police officers that just want to raise havoc. You know what I mean? So it's, it's like a double-edged sword. What, what can you do and who can you find that's going to, to really honor your craft of art and have a passion for it like the way you do? That's hard to find. Yeah. That's like finding a good woman. It's not, it's hard. <laughs> Yeah, uh-huh. see, if we talk about the industry all day, our head's gonna be hurt, man, because it, 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 that's a, it's a, it's a monster. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's literally a monster. It's <laughs> controlled by that dude. Yeah. So enough about that. We going back to near. We we with Nero right now, man. That, that's right. And and you got. I'm gonna tell you that record might be old, but that how you feel record, man. That had me jumping, man. That shit had me jumping. Nobody around that shit had me jumping, man. <laughs> That's what's up. Uh, appreciate my man, uh, Kirk Stock. He produced that record for me. He's out in Canada. He's a dope producer. It's like, and I'm a producer myself, right? Right, right. Majority of my records I produce. But we connected. He sent me some tracks. That record right there, um, how you feel? I, as soon as he sent it to me, I recorded no less than 25, 30 minutes the most. Mm-hmm. I got at it ASAP. It was like, it was a real good connection since then. That's who I've been working with. And I, and he's like one of the first that I ever, that broke me out of recording with my own projects. Cause when it's like with music, music is intimate. You, it's like, you gotta put yourself into that music and his records, click with me so I started we we'll are working with him on that after that one he just sent me some more records that's really gonna be some good good music that's gonna um, come emerge to ya yeah, pretty man. soon and that's beautiful man and also um, you got this magazine man get with it magazine why don't you tell us a little bit about that you know as, as far as the fan standpoint correct get with it magazine the wits without an H G E T W I T I T magazine is really based on up and coming entrepreneurs. If you are an artist, if you are a painter, if you are a street activist that's trying to clean up your community, if all the above, if you're a radio personality, if you're behind the scenes on the boards, clear channels, um, you're interviewing people, whatever it is that you do. We have an outlet for y'all to get exposed. And that's what the magazine is all about. So if if you want to get that exposure and let people know what you do, get with the magazine is where it's at. Even A and R's can come there and find new talent. You don't even have to go to certain showcases no more. We do the leg work for you. We have some our staff members that go out to certain showcases. Even myself, I go out to certain showcases and Meet some new artists, a new talent. I just met a new talent. I'm not even gonna say a name. I should say a name, so I can be the first one to, to let y'all know. Her name is Demi. Matter of fact, she might love me. She don't even know me like that yet. And That's she, right. Her name is Demi Lobo. See a CD right here. Okay. Demi Lobo. Next pop artist is gonna hit the scene. Nice. She, she had the opportunity to um to sit in front of Universal. And I was there to witness her win that. The day she got off the stage, I approached her personally 
to get contact, and I got the contact. She will be featured in Get With It Magazine pretty soon. So things like that is what Get With It Magazine is all about. And alongside with fashion blogs, music blogs, political blogs, news, everything is all in that one pot in Get With It Magazine. And we're going to have them links as well as links to your videos and music at thebetterunsigned.com. When y'all click on this interview, y'all gonna have all the links there where y'all can check out my man Nero. And that's who we here with, man. Nero the Great, man. Nero, why don't you tell them about that movie, man? We was talking about the movie earlier. Why don't you put them up on game, boss? Yeah, I have a mini film coming out pretty soon. I'll be shooting it this summer. Hopefully it can come out this winter. If not, it'll be out 2012. It's really based on an artist that's struggling to get in the industry and he was once upon a time in a group and it was a two-man group and all of a sudden they, they departed you know things like that happen in especially in music industries and in groups so when they departed um his partner got a deal so rapidly while he's struggling trying to take care of his family also trying to pursue his career he sees his mans on TV 24-7, on the radio, everywhere. He's, like, blowing up. And he's like, how he get this deal so fast? It's like, it happened so quick. Not knowing that's the key. I really ain't going to tell you anything, but he did some right. trickery things to get to where he's at. Exactly. So right. that main character, which was struggling... He has finally got his chance. There's a big exec that approaches him that heard his music and greets him to some industry parties, trying to seduce him to sign these contracts, show him with the fact of the finest things that the record label can give to you. So along, along the road, he meets a female that tries to school him and put him on about what this record execs is trying to do to him to make him sign these record deals. And uh, the movie is called Awaken. So get ready for it. It's, it's going to be real good. It's, it's, it has a lot of deep, intricate details about my opinion about the record label, allegedly. <laughs> had a, had a minute. <laughs> 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 Beautiful man, and dude, I'm just—it's uh, it, great, man. You making power moves, man, and just a lot of things going on. Um, as far as the music, are we? Can, can we expect any any new projects from you coming up? Any any albums or anything on deck for you, man? Yeah, I'm right now. I'm working on a lot of things at once. I'm working on a uh, uh, a mixtape. I'm also working on an album. Um, I have a single that's out right now as we speak. Um, it's called Not Drunk Enough featuring Adele. Um, there you go. It's a dope record. Um, it's real something that can relate to everybody. And you might hear the, the title and think, oh, he's talking about getting drunk, partying. Nah, it's not that. It's about feeling your pain from a relationship that you just got out of. And now that you're trying to put yourself together because of that pain, you get drunk. You drink away your pain, basically. Some people make music. Some people paint. Some people pop pills. But this particular record is about an individual drinking to get away from the pain. I was actually going through that emotion when I wrote that record. But... I'm not a drinker like that, as you see. I, I sip on little wines here and there, so I don't drink heavy. I'd rather just go in the booth and just, like I did with that record. That's why <laughs> I get stuck enough. That's right. I just twist it. I can't call it not rapping enough. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I called it not drunk enough. I like then, that. The way the record came together was crazy. It's like, it's a long story behind that record. It's a real long story, and it's a real deep story behind that record. I, shout out to my homegirl, Dell. 